Hey you guys, I'm the Depressed Engineer, and today I want to talk about work being dependent on other coworkers. So I don't think this video is going to be horribly long, but uh, the timestamp's already there, so you'll know how long it is, I won't. In any case, uh, I kind of previously talked about this in my other video, where I was recently assigned two tasks, and I was actually pretty stoked about it because I was going to actually learn a document process. It wasn't even an engineering process, really. It was just a, a way they document things there. So I was going to at least learn, oh, okay, this is how I close one of these documents. I was given two tasks that were completely dependent on other coworkers. So I, I was given these tasks, and they were they're low priority anyways. So I wasn't horribly worried about it. But I was given the two tasks and I asked my boss, hey, what, what am, so what are the first few steps I need to take in order to complete these tasks? And at first I focused on one of them. And that one, because I, I was already told the other one was a little more dependent on a, a vendor's response because we were sending a product back to a vendor to see if they could find the issue because they're the ones who made it. So I focused on the other one. I asked my boss and said, what do I need to get this done? And then he responded with, wait, what, which task is this? And to some degree, I understand because when you're a manager or a project manager, or senior engineer, you have a lot of things on your mind. So you're trying to manage a team and you're also trying to make sure that all the other managers are happy as well. And it is very easy to lose focus on, wait, which tasks did I assign to each employee? So I, I sent him the number of the, the document number. And he responds with, wait, which one is this one? And I basically had to explain to him what task he had given me. And this was just the day after. So it surprised me that he didn't even remember what he gave me. And then eventually he reached a point where he said, oh, okay, well, was this approved? And I said, yes, that, that this part of the document has been approved through our control board. And the other coworker told me it's ready to go and he just needed to know what I needed, which uh, the problem was I needed to know what I needed. So I didn't even know what I needed to tell him to give me. So then I was asking my boss and he said, well, we, we need the released drawings for that and yada yada, which aren't going to be released for who knows how long. So what happens is the document updates get approved and then the control board will eventually say, OK, this is finalized for release. And then that goes to another design team that changes the design, updates it and then they release it. But even that process goes through even more reviews. And it, you can see where this is going, where it's just a long, continuous chain of just reviewing, reviewing, updating, updating, and redlining, to the point where I reached, I reached a point where I looked at the task and said, okay, you gave me a task that I am completely dependent on other people completing. So what am I supposed to do in the time between that? Because now I have two tasks laying on my desk that I can't do because I, just, I can't do anything. I have to wait for everybody else to do their job. And that's probably going to end up taking at least another week, possibly even another month, because these changes, sometimes they just take forever. So then I... I actually sat down in a me in one of our scrum meetings, our, our morning meetings, and when it came to my turn to speak about what I was working on, what I was doing, I said, hey, I talked to this other guy that I'm supposed to be working for now that we're transitioning managers, and even that guy didn't even know that I was going to be working on his team, and now he needs to go figure out what my job is. He, I remember asking him, hey, uh, so I just wanted to know what my expectations are for my new job role. And he came back with me, well, I need to go ask the previous guy who had that job role and see what he thinks that job is. What he thinks that job is? What's that even mean? So is this like a made up job that nobody actually knows what it is? And it just doesn't even make any sense to me whatsoever. The, 
So it's just, it's, it gets scary when you start seeing that stuff in the office because that's usually a red flag saying, hey, management isn't really communicating the through the proper, proper channels. So you might wanna run away, but we'll see how it goes. I'm on a contract for one year. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is sticking it out for a year. And if it doesn't work out, I'm I'm gonna have to bail. This isn't the first time I've been given a task where it's been dependent on other people. Now I have had tasks where I was given something and I would go to that person I was dependent on and say, hey, how far have you gotten on this? And they would give me a status update and I'd say, okay, well, if you can get it done by either today or tomorrow, that'd be great. And then I'd, I'd wait for them to get it done and then eventually they'd get it done and I'd work on it. Now I've also had tasks that were dependent on other people that it just takes forever. And then you're sitting, you end up sitting there going, well, I'm pretty much at standby now. Pretty much my job description is be at the ready. And you know, just sometimes you sit there for a week waiting for something to happen. And then sometimes it takes five minutes and you're like, oh, okay, okay it's, I guess it's my turn now. So there's nothing really satisfying about giving a task that's dependent on another person because now it's up to you to bug that other person and nobody likes being micromanaged. And I always feel like when I'm being, or when I'm waiting on somebody to finish something so that I can start working on it, I'm the one who's micromanaging. And at that point, you might as well label me a manager and give me a manager's pay. But it just gets to a point where, you know, what is my, my job is to just wait for other people now? Is there nothing I can do on my own? And it, it just gets frustrating. It's really annoying. And I guess this this video is more for me just to vent, a, vent that out. Because I know that happens at other jobs too, where you're given a task and you can't do it because you got to wait on somebody else. And then a manager comes by and says, hey, have you finished that task? And you have to tell them, no, because, you know, Charlie over there hasn't done his thing. And then he has to say, oh, okay. And that's I guess that's another way you can try to you know, try to push it forward is let your managers or your bosses know, hey, I can't work on this test because I'm still waiting on Charlie over there. So how about you go have a talk with Charlie and try to get this task done a little more quickly. So in any case, I think that's that's pretty much all I really wanted to talk about on that topic. Feel free to let me know down in the comments if you want me to go into more detail with that. I really don't know what else to say on there, but like I said, comment down below to let me know what you guys want me to talk about. Any topics that you're interested in, especially anything engineering related, because that's where I've been working in. I've been working in engineering for four years. So, you know, if you want some advice, some consulting about life outside of college and what the work world really is like, let me know and I'll talk about it. I already kind of have a list going of what I want to talk about and I'm going to try to get through that and hopefully you guys enjoy those, these videos and maybe I'm actually helping someone out there unlike at my current job where I'm just not, it at least does not feel like I'm helping anyone out there. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for your support and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. So I want, oh my God. I can't talk. I'm so bad at talking. <clears throat>